Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, it's me, Bunty36. I'm bringing you a new video today, and today is gonna be something very different. It's not gonna be a battle or a, a single misgrave review. I'm actually gonna bring you four misgrave reviews in the same video. And the reason I kind of did this was uh, because of um, nowadays it's, uh, it's it's actually very difficult to come up with a strategy for misgrave, and misgrave has been uh, very complicated these days. It's been more complicated than it's ever been. And uh, you really have to think to make a strategy uh, if, you, if you're a pro player out there. So this might help you guys out. And if it did, please leave a like down, comment what you want to see next, and uh, I'll try my best to do what you guys tell me to. Anyway, let's get right into it. So the four musquets that I'm going to be reviewing, reviewing today are these. And um, one thing, might, some of you might already guess what the, all of these musquets have in common. But if you still didn't, did not get it, basically, all of these misgrids have bright lights. And uh, this is very important. You, you guys need to keep that in mind. All of these misgrids have some kind of attack or a uh, move that, that lowers accuracy. And and obviously, this uh, this is going to be a very big part in um, the whole review of these misgrids. So, Echidna right here is kind of different since his final attack lowers the... Um, accuracy of the fall while the rest of them straight up have um, accuracy debuff and the reason why I'm, I'm making the review for these guys is because a lot of misgrits out there uh, these days are repetitive uh, attacking or whatever their attack is is repetitive so bright lights is actually very very useful these days uh, I mean I remember back in the day you guys might remember too back in the day every misgrit had just had a one hit um, attack and bright lights wasn't really a big thing anyone would care about. But nowadays, uh, you know, miscreants like the miscreants that are used a lot in pro teams like Ages or Elite Alpha or something like that. Uh, bright lights is actually a very very good um, uh, move you, you really need in your team. So uh, I would really really recommend having as much miscreants that have bright lights in, to be in your team because it's gonna play a very big part in uh, you being su successful in, in the match. So basically, all these misquits right here are slow, except for this guy. I try to make him very slow, but he I got really bad speed. Bad as in very high speed, so I couldn't really make him very, very slow. But uh, this guy is a very good alternative for a slow tank that has bright lights. Um, these days, Confuse and Sleep don't really uh, make a big difference because every misquit these days have uh, CISI, but... Uh, this guy can uh, can be useful against rare salamandras since the, no one is using immunities on them. So you can uh, you can switch to this guy, sleep him, and then switch to uh, Elite Freedom or Elite Casanova to uh, really do some big damage to rare salamandra. So that's that's what this the Noxes might be uh, good for. You you might want to try the Lightning Nox so that you don't really get a lot of damage uh, against rare salamandra from his. Um, Wind attack, which does 60 AP, does a ton of damage. You don't want you don't want to take any damage from that guy. So try using the lightning misgrid of the Nox. Second up, we have Hot Dog. Uh, this misgrid is actually very slow, as you can see. It has 45 speed. Actually, it's at level 30. I'm pretty sure it'll go up if it goes to 35. But still, it's a very slow misgrid. So you guys could really uh, make this a very very slow tank and use it as bait for other misgrids. And uh, another reason this uh, this misgrid is special is because it has venom. This is actually very useful for slow misgrids as uh, it does damage over time. And uh, you can, if you're stuck in a one v one, you guys can just uh, bright lights and just venom. Uh, it's a very it's a very um, effective attack for one v ones when you're bright lights. So if you're against elite freedom or something, this guy should definitely get the win uh, in a one v one since he has venom and uh, he has. Um, he has negate element too, so that's a very big plus. So if you're against an Aegis and uh, you're slower or, or faster, it doesn't really matter. You can you can negate and bright lights, and then you sh you should be able to win the one v one against an Aegis. So that's hot dog right there. Third off, we have regular freedom. All right, I know what you guys are probably thinking. Uh, Elite freedom is there. Why would you want to go for regular freedom? Well, there are a couple of reasons for that. First off, the main reason is uh, regular freedom is actually slower. So as you can see right here, he's level 30, he has 56 speed. My freedom actually got really, really bad stats once he first came out. I trained him, so I just got the worst stats in the world. I did not use him. As you can see, uh, I don't have any good relics on him. I just trained him. But uh, this guy has 
fireworks, which is uh, another word for bright lights, so that's very useful. He has confused, which might be useful or not, but he has uh, elite physical attack, so if you're stuck in a 1v1, you can bright light the crap out of your enemy and then just spam veto. And of course, his final attack heals 15, so that, that's another plus. Um, this guy's a very good tank slash bait miscrit, so you can you guys can make him uh, really slow, put CIS on, on him, and have him as your first miscrit, and you guys should be good to go. Third and final, last but not definitely not the least, we have Echidna over here. And as you guys can see, this guy's very slow, so this guy is going to be amazing for um, a bait miscrit. But as you guys can see over here, I got a very bad HP. I got 117. I believe his HP is um, is random, so you, you really need to get lucky with the HP to get a good, um, a decent HP. You need somewhere around over you know 170 after it's relic, and um, you should be good to go. This guy ha basically has a, a bunch of really nice skill set. He has um, damage over time toxic. It's not really a good attack, but if you're stuck in a 1v1 and you're bright light, uh, bright lighted, so this is a, a very good attack. You might you guys might want to consider using. It has negate element, which is obviously a plus for any miscrit. It has sleep, which is good too because I've noticed a lot of people are using elite freedom with just the regular confused immune. So sleep is actually very uh, useful these days. And his final attack is very overpowered. That's why a lot of people actually. Uh, they already have him there in their teams and uh, uh, people are deciding to use Echidna nowadays so it's, it's a very nice final attack you have a chance to debuff your foe's accuracy so obviously you don't you don't need to waste a turn on bright lights you can just final attack and hope for uh, accuracy debuff and uh, let's go and take a look at the stats of these guys first off we'll check out uh, actually we'll go to the um, Lightning Nox. All the Noxes have the same uh, stats, but I'll just show you the Lightning Nox. His health is random, so you really need to get lucky with that. Speed is random, as you can see. Uh, my luck was not really that great. That really sucked. Uh, physical defense is moderate. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter nowadays because a lot of people are taking Elite Alpha out of their teams and putting Rare Salamander, so you should you should be good with that since it has Elite Elemental Defense, and it's, if it's going to be Lightning, you'll, you'll barely take any damage from rare salamandra so you should be good there as elite elemental attack so if if you're against a rare salamandra you should be able to do some good damage without taking a lot so that's that's the knocks let's go and take a look at hot dog um all right let's go he's a fire miscrit hot dog i believe it should, it should be somewhere over here uh, actually i think i just passed him there it is all right Hot dog, yes, strong health. As you can see, it's not very good, but I mean, it, you, you should, it should get the job done. Um, strong isn't really that bad, but nowadays miscrits have max or elite. A lot of them have elite health, so um, you, you should be good with him. And nevertheless, strong defense, so you should not worry about that. The, the main thing is he has weak speed, so that's what you're really focusing on. You need to make him a slow tank, a bait, so you can uh, snipe other miscrits with your snipers, right? With like rare salamander or whatever you guys have elite Rolox. So that's a uh, hot dog. Let's take a look at regular freedom. Um, all right, I think I skipped him. There he is. All right, uh, he has moderate speed. As you can see, it's not weak, but moderate is still very slow. As every new miscrit nowadays have at least strong speed. So you should be able to make him a slow tank and bait. Uh, everyone um, and, and he has ele elite elemental defense so that's just another plus so if you get sniped by a water miscreant you will, you will not take a lot of damage so that's that's just amazing right there he has bright lights so it's, it's just an overall really nice miscreant and last but not the least uh, Echidna let's take a look at his stats Echidna is actually a very old miscreant so a lot of the old players will remember like I said, he has random health, so you guys are really gonna have to get lucky with his health to get a decent HP. What I would recommend is like training three or four echidnas at the same time and picking the one that you get the best. I mean, I know it is a lot of platinums for elite expert training all of them at the same time, but I think it's gonna definitely gonna be worth it as he's a very good miscrit nowadays. Accuracy debuff is just overpowered these days because every miscrit has repetitive attacks. He has elite physical attacks, so you'll do a bunch of damage. And the best thing I think he has is weak speed, which is very rare these days. You really want to miss with rare uh, weak speed. 
So that's it for today guys. Really let me know if you enjoyed this video. I'll leave a thumbs up. I know it's going to be a very long video but I think it's definitely worth it. You guys should really um, pick up some information from this. It's, I think it's definitely going to help a lot of people out with uh, creating their new teams or strategies. And um, thank you very much for watching guys. I really do appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment. What do you guys want me to do next? I'll, I'll, I'll try my best to do it and I'll see you on my next video. Peace.